On this episode of Cox Connections, it is said that a book is a dream that you hold in your hand. Today, we'll find out how the organization Reading Enriches All Children helps Hampton Roads youth with these dreams. Also, did you know that engineers rule? Well, they're certainly going to do so this summer at the Old Dominion University Engineering Camp. We'll tell you more today. And summer days won't be so lazy for children attending the Hampton Arts Summer Camps this year. We'll learn about these fun and educational programs available for children. Stay tuned, Cox Connections is next. The centers are truly designed to be homes away from home for our service members. Our goal is to help them not just get out of homelessness, but to help them to stay out of homelessness. We leveraged $44 million in financial aid and scholarships. Boys and Girls Clubs are rallying communities so that we can ensure that our kids have a great future. Salvation Army Ray and Joan Crock Core Community Center, the phenomenal facility that will change lives. Welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Emma Inman, Director of Public Affairs for Cox, Virginia. The volunteer organization Reading Enriches All Children supports the literacy needs of homeless and at-risk children living in shelters throughout Southampton Roads. Last year, REACH distributed over 17,000 books through their programs. Here to tell us more about REACH is Helen Hart, Board of Director Vice President, and Leslie Claridge, Volunteer Coordinator. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you for having us, Emma. So, Helen, tell us about REACH. REACH is a, a nonprofit organization that, as you mentioned, uh, we serve the literacy needs for um, homeless and at-risk children in Hampton Roads. Uh, we try to provide a literacy-rich environment that encourages reading times and even for families that are in crisis. Um, research has shown that reading out loud to children um, at early ages will help their development, healthy development, and that's especially true you know, for, for at-risk children. So REACH's Read Aloud program is intended to serve that need and provide a, um, a reading environment designated times and locations for these children. Leslie, who founded REACH? How did REACH get started? Um, REACH was started in 1998 by a Virginia Beach educator who noticed that there were children in her class that didn't um, recognize basic literary characters like Dr. Seuss, Carrie George, you know, um, characters that we should all really recognize. And so she started the Read Aloud program by collecting um, books, um, gently loved books, and um, bringing them to the her shelter in Portsmouth and um, started the first Read Aloud in Portsmouth. And here we are, you know, what, 17 years later. So I understand that um, you're a largely volunteer-driven organization. Mm -hmm. How many volunteers are there who, who work with the Read Aloud program? Um, we have um, a little over 200 Read Aloud volunteers. So, um, and there's only two staff at REACH, um, so we're clearly volunteer-driven. We couldn't possibly do it without the help of volunteers. Um, you know, they're our lifeblood of our organization. Um, you know, I always say volunteers are the heart of our organization, and um, we're so grateful because we couldn't possibly do it. We're in, um, you know, the south side, the peninsula, um, and we, you know, with only two staff, we, they, we do the work that we do because of them. Leslie, tell us a little bit more about um, the numbers of children that you reach, the numbers of shelters that you serve. Um, well, last year we read to, um, individually we read to over 800 children um, in over 15 um, shelter read-alouds and community read-alouds. Um, and um, we distributed 17,172 books. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So really um, making sure that these children have a love of reading no matter what their circumstances happen to be at the time. Um, and uh, I know that REACH has been recognized as an outstanding program several times, and most recently we were thrilled to have awarded the organization a Cox Charities grant um, about a month ago, I guess. Mm -hmm. Leslie, tell us how important that kind of grant funding is for the organization. Um, well, REACH is funded by public donations, so we could not possibly do it without the help of um, of the general public um, and um, the Cox Charities um, grant was a huge help to us this year and so we're very thankful to receive that um, because we do rely on public donations for our support. 
And I know that you have been the recipient of a number of uh, awards. Do you want to tell us about those? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really, really proud to be in an organization that, um, you know, that recognizes the hard work of our volunteers. And we were recognized by the um, Volunteer Hampton Roads for our um, volunteer program um, and our uh, military volunteers, um, as well as we were recognized by the Elks Club for our meritorious service. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. So if I'm interested in becoming a volunteer, how do I do that? Um, you can call the REACH office at 627-4722. Um, you can go online and um, apply as a volunteer. Our website is um, www.reachreads.org. Um, or you can just um, send me an email, but calling our website is, is probably the fastest way to get in touch with us. And in addition to the read aloud opportunities, are there other kinds of things that volunteers can help to support you with? Um, we have a ton of opportunities. <laughs> we're coming into our busy season, um, so we're coming into our event season. Um, so we always need a lot of volunteers for, um, we um, have a service club tent at usually at Harbor Fest. Um, you know, any of the big festivals at um, fest events where we do fundraising. Um, and our biggest event of the year is our annual Survivor Challenge, which is um, an obstacle course that we set up. Um, there's usually 10 obstacles um, and corporations and, and civic groups around the area um, compete in these, um, these obstacles and they're, they're built on a team. Uh, they're built so that it has to be done by a team. So it's a lot of fun. It's, it, you know, it's in July. Um, all the information is on our website, but that's a great event for us where we always need a lot of volunteers. And Helen, I understand that you're also involved in the Give 757 Challenge. Can you tell us a little more about that? Well, Leslie is the, the key person on the 757, <laughs> but it's a day of um, online uh, donations, and, and Leslie's been instrumental in getting that going um, and we are one of the one of the charitable organizations that's that's been highlighted on the the, the give 757 program. So give local give, give local 757 yep mm -hmm. give local 757 is on May 3rd um, you know we're um, we're hoping it's a crowdfunding a day of crowdfunding um, kind of like giving Tuesday but here locally it's, it's give 757 um, so we you know we hope to get a lot of support that day um, and um, it's May 3rd, May 3rd. Well, thank you ladies so much for the great work that you do serving at-risk children in our community. They are certainly um, a part of our community that we love and cherish. And I know that your volunteers just must have a blast reading and working with these children every week. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the great work that you're doing here in Hampton Roads. Thank, thank you. you. Coming up, 11, 12, and 13-year-old engineers? What could be more fun and educational? We'll tell you about this ODU summer camp. Stay tuned for more Cox Connections. <laughs>